Kehoe House in Savannah. Built on Columbia Square in Savannah, the Kehoe House was completed in May of 1892. It was built for William Kehoe and his family. They lived in the house for a number of years with their children. It is known that some of their children passed away inside of the house. Guests to the Kehoe House have reported all sorts of haunted events happening to them, while staying at the Kehoe House. With children passing away in the home it is no coincidence that the ghosts of children, and some of the most reported ghostly occurrences in the house. One of the stories that doesn't want to do, despite being debunked pretty heavily, is the story of two of the Kehoe children getting stuck in the chimney and dying. This didn't happen. Guests to the Kehoe house also often report the feeling of someone touching them while they sleep. The smell of perfumes from an age past, have also been noticed wafting their way through the hallways, or bedrooms of this haunted savannah bed and breakfast. The Ghosts of Factors Walk in Savannah the most overlooked areas in Savannah might be Factors Walk. Located between Bay Street and River Street, Factors Walk gets a lot of foot traffic, but very few people know what happened in this alleyway. The Grave Tales of Savannah Ghost Tour will take you down into Factors Walk in order to show you some of the hidden secrets of Savannah's past. The ghosts that call Factors Walk home have some of the most heartbreaking stories in Savannah. Families were torn apart, murders, accidental death. Factors Walk has seen it all. All of the slaves that were brought into Savannah for market through the sea passed through Factors Walk. The cobblestone-lined alleyway has much to be told. Like many areas in Savannah, shadow people are often seen moving through the night time. While not accessible anymore, the tunnels which originate in the Factors Walk area have been known to send ghastly moans into the still night air. Moon River Brewing Company One of the most well-known haunted locations in Savannah, Georgia is the Moon River Brewing Company. Thanks to visits by TV's Ghost Hunters and Ghost Adventures, people all over the country have been interested in the ghostly inhabitants of the Moon River Brewing Company. On one of our Savannah Ghost Tours, the Grave Tales of Savannah Ghost Tour, we often spend time visiting the Moon River Brewing Company and telling the story of why the Moon River Brewing Company is so haunted. The building that houses the Moon River Brewing Company was built in 1821, by a laser early. It was first used as the City Hotel. The City Hotel was a gathering place, for many well-to-do people in Savannah. Even Audubon himself spent some time in the City Hotel. The Savannah City Hotel hosted its last guest in 1864. Right before General Sherman arrived to capture the city of Savannah, during the American Civil War, the building also served as a hospital during Savannah's numerous yellow fever outbreaks. Hundreds of people, mostly children, reportedly died on the upper floors of the building during these outbreaks. It is not surprising that child spirits are often seen in the Moon River Brewing Company. Seventeen hundred ninety in. Some of the most famous ghosts in Savannah take up residence at the seventeen hundred ninety in. This historic building, now a restaurant, bar, and lodging, sits at the intersection of Lincoln Street and President Street in the historic district of Savannah. The building, which now houses the seventeen hundred ninety, is actually three buildings. The first two parts of this haunted building were constructed in the years between eighteen twenty one and eighteen twenty three. A third part, the eastern part of the building, was built in eighteen eighty eight. It doesn't matter which part of the seventeen hundred ninety you find yourself in; the possibility of having a ghostly run in is high at the seventeen hundred ninety. Wright Square Wright Square is an interesting square with more than its share of ghost stories. On our Savannah Ghost Tours we will visit this haunted place, and show you the secrets that Wright Square hides. Beneath the large oaks that now dominate Wright Square there has been much bloodshed, and anguish since Savannah's founding in 1733. 
Wright Square was one of the original four squares to be laid out in Savannah. The first white burial ground was located at Wright Square, at the southwest corner of Wright Square, extending underneath some of the buildings on that side of the square, lay the bodies of those first buried in Savannah. We will point out the exact location on the ghost doors. A common theme you will see in Savannah hauntings, is one of buildings and roadways being built on top of burial grounds. Also, Wright Square was the location of gallows here in Savannah. On our ghost tours we talk about how crime, and punishment was dealt out in early Savannah. And of course, you will hear the true story of Alice Riley, the first woman to be sentenced to death in Savannah.